So welcome everyone to our yeah. Chaos App Ecosystem Working Group. Today is Monday, September 20, 2021. I just shared the link to the meeting minutes. I'll do that again in the chat. Please add yourself in the participants section that I just created. And then for the agenda today, we had taken last time off for Labor Day. And then looking ahead, we'll also be coming up on, I don't know if you're meeting on Thanksgiving weekend. I can look at my calendar or Christmas. So we really only have two months now for, um, For, for getting things done that we want to get done for this year. So it looks like uh, Christmas falls on the weekend. Uh, so the 27th would be a Monday. I don't know if that's an on Monday or not for us, but I think Thanksgiving shouldn't be an issue though, because you know, that's Thursday, Friday, unless people are off that week, then so i personally like well, in this may be my german tradition when, when we have christmas there like the whole week of yeah, yeah, the yeah. meetings don't work so i would say uh no no meetings on december 27 27th yeah for sure yeah yeah red hat just takes the whole week between christmas and new year's off so same here, which I also don't like because I like to have the choice, but yeah. <laughs> Do we want to meet during the advent? I'm looking at December 13. It's, it's not an important date to me, but it may be for others. So. Okay. It's fine with me, yeah. December 13 sounds fine. All right, and then for Thanksgiving, that's I think on the 25th this year. So Monday, I think we'll all be yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, we've got a, a 29th is what we were scheduled for, so. Yeah, <clears throat> okay. So then we don't have many holiday conflicts now that we actually looked at the calendar. Good. So. <laughs> If I count it correctly, it looks like we have six more calls. Yep, I think October 4, 18, November 1, 15, 29, and then December 13. So. So then the question is, what do we want to finish or accomplish this year? Well, like I missed the last couple of calls, but I did catch up a bit. I saw you had some my discussion, Alison joined the thing like that. Did we ever, and we got some further feedback on the event organizer metrics, but we were also, I remember working on the marketing team. So, I don't know if we need to update something on the event organizer and see how we can incorporate it. And I guess if we can wrap up the marketing metrics also, and I don't know if we want to set a more higher level or more strategic goal by the end of the year or a more something else more specific. Yeah, I feel like we, we kind of paused the one, right? Because we were revisiting event organizers. Yeah. With, with feedback from, you know, Academy and Guadec folks so <clears throat> so promotions and communications team was was never finished i think but i it's been like a, a little while since we visited it so it's not fresh in my brain anymore 
So yeah, for the event organizer feedback, I feel like we are close. We had gone through some feedback, we had consolidated some metrics, simplified them a little bit, and come up with a new way of presenting them through slide decks. So maybe it's as simple as going through the slide decks, making sure that they are good, in good shape, and then publishing that and communicating that. Yeah, and maybe we can keep the feedback from that one when we're doing the marketing also. Do it in a similar way, I guess. Okay. We could think about um doing a another open source.com article with the updates i think they'd be open to that do we have enough like changes to justify that it's a completely new format <laughs> um so i i think last time we didn't go into the details of the metrics themselves. We only talked about setting up this group and the process we work with. So this time, I think we can talk about, hey, we actually have these metrics. And here are some slide decks. Good. Sounds like a plan then. Okay, and then for finishing the marketing team metrics, I believe we started. Yeah, no, no worries, Perry. Um, I think we started that I had some conversations. My gut feeling is that we have a lot more that we want to do, but maybe we should just clean up what we have right now and get that out the door to have something good and something we can start working with and leave all the other aspirational goals that we have for this persona. So I think if we can do those two things over the next six meetings, we'd be in really good shape for this year. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I, I think it's, um, I think it, it would be really good for us to get another uh, thing kind of published and out there um, by the end of the year, it shows uh, progress. and. It doesn't have to be perfect. The internet will tell us when we're wrong. So um, good stuff out there that's showing what we're working on. And we can revisit it just as we're revisiting the event organizer now, so. Yeah. All right. I think that's a good good plan. Um, in, in true open source fashion, I'm not gonna put a timeline or deadlines on it. <laughs> Um, I am curious if we can spend some time on the metric slides today, the event organizer slides.
So Allison last time presented them, and I'm going to post them here in the chat. What's with our meeting? Did you just post? Uh, I, well, you just posted in chat. It's not. Uh... I'm sorry. There it is. Thank you. I guess my copy paste didn't work properly. Okay. I'm glad I didn't have any sense of data in my yeah <laughs> my clipboard. Right. I always hate when that happens. So, with. How about I share my screen so that we can all see the same thing at the same time? One thing I noticed like when I opened the document was that it seems like we dropped the numbering of the goals. <laughs> so we did what? We don't no longer have like the numbering for the goals. It's just call, call. I don't know if that's on purpose. Are you talking about our meeting minutes? No, no, about the slides. So if you open up the slides. Oh, yeah. I, I, like when we discuss about it, is it say call one or call two? I don't know if it makes sense for the slides also. At the same time, I don't know, maybe numbering could give a sense of priority that we don't want. But I'm just nitpicking maybe here. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to over-engineer too much, but um, <clears throat> I do get from, um, like Wikipedia has like a set of uh, uh, um, rules, rules is the wrong word, guidelines. And they all have like a short slug, you know, so everybody knows them by their slug. And then there's the, the longer thing. So that's kind of an alternative to naming, but uh, numbering maybe is some sort of ID that's memorable. Because um, I feel like the numbers are really just the order we happen to. Yeah, the it, brain in, but exactly. But them. it helps to know the number that you have. You know, you, if it's five, you know, you have five so <laughs> this way. It's not very clear. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was I was also thinking about why why I prefer numbering, and it's purely so we can more quickly refer to it. So if we go with the slug idea, then the goal retaining. That's then retaining is the slug here. Yeah, personally, I also prefer numbering as well. Okay, then we could just slide numbers into this into these slides and. Should be easy enough. I want mm -hmm. to double check that they're in the same order still as they were before if we want to match up to our previous published entry. All right, we now have slide numbers. Oh, we have now auto generated slide numbers and other slide numbers. That's fun. <laughs> I think maybe we might want to like actually have the goal one colon something. 
And then maybe the metric should be numbered like a, a like a one dot, you know, metric one dot one, metric one dot two, based on what goal it's for. Is that dumb? I don't know. Yeah, because I was actually thinking that was we were talking about numbering. So it's more like, um, I think we have going to have like five the goals. So it could be go one, two, three, yeah, five, no four. Okay, so goal one. Then this is question one point one. And then this is metric 1.1.1. I think that's the, the numbering schema we had in the document as well. And then we have question 1.2. Anyway, I don't, we don't have to add all the numbering right now. I'll just take an action item on in the minutes that we add numbering. I just want to make sure that we know what edits we want to do. And then we need someone who would like to take this action item. I can take that up. Awesome. Thank you, Perry. Then I got you down in the minutes to add numbering to the goals, questions, and metrics. All right. Let's go through the slides and see if they make sense. If you haven't looked at these in a while, so. If something doesn't make sense to us, they probably don't make sense to anyone else either. <laughs> I think we should add um, explanation slide deck in here, um, where we go a little bit into the background of what's going on, what the slide deck is about. And this can be multiple slides. So like an introduction. Yeah, if I recall correctly, we had that on the first post, so it should be easy to populate this one. Yeah. Okay, I'll write down we have an action item to add an introduction, add introduction slides. Do we have, who would like to add introduction slides? Sure, I can try to give it a go. Awesome, thank you, Neil. Then, okay, so we have this first one. I think we should change the title though, because it's the Chaos App Ecosystem Working Group, but it's really our event organizer metrics.
Did we have a good name before? Do you, does anyone remember? Let's see how we named the blog post, I guess. <laughs> so the the markdown file we have is, was just called event slash activity organizers. And that's it. And then on opensource.com. There's metrics for open source events. How to develop, how we develop success metrics for open source events. That's one. Yeah. So not a good title either. What would you think about metrics for event organizers in OSS? For OSS event organizers? Yeah, it's much clearer and it definitely like, if you're interested in this, it's clear. If you're always an event organizer, then you would read it, I guess. You would be interested. Awesome. One action item that I see is to put this into the chaos um, style. Right now, everything is just white, and we do have a chaos um, slide deck style. And I can do that since I have that. Maybe put the link if that's publicly available for where we can find it. Yep, I can. I have to look that up. I always. <laughs> I just reuse old presentations. It's not like we have a template okay. somewhere. I just reuse presentations. Okay, what else do we need to do to polish this up? Should are these goals uh, self-explanatory? Planetary enough, or should we add some why these goals are important? Or is that overloading the slide deck? It might make sense to list all of them in the beginning. So one can like content, context, no, oh, content. Maybe. Yeah, I agree with that. So like alongside the introduction, why why it's important to just like talk along with it. Oh, I see the numbering is already here. Thank you, Perry, for doing that so quickly. I got the last one. All right. Here. Let me just remove the formatting. Oh, so we have four goals. Excellent. Okay, so 
once we get to this goal page, is it self-explanatory what they want to accomplish or do we need to explain anything? Retain and attracting contributors. Uh, to be honest, number three and four look like they could use some explaining to me. Like three, it's not clear. I think to someone just seeing this for the first time, and for, I don't know, maybe you need an extra word there, like ensure events contribute towards minimizing the gaps or something. I don't know, maybe just me. Okay. How about, so I, I, I think we do need to explain it. How about we take some time to um, come up with an idea for what to put here and we can divide and con conquer. This is bugging me. So what I propose is each of us picks one goal and just writes an explanation, whatever you think it might be. And then in three minutes, we look over it and discuss. Sure, let's give it a go. Okay. Which goal I'll, do you want to? I'll do four, since I was discussing about it, I guess I can try that. Okay. Sean, do you want to pick a goal to work on a description for? I think we lost Sean again. Yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, no. I I what? Oh. Was I just talking too quietly? I'm sorry. Ah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I guess I'll take the three. Okay. I'll try to make my brain work. Okay. Yeah. Perry, do you want to take a goal as well and just try your hand at a description for it? Uh, yeah, has anybody taken goal two? It's all yours. <laughs> all right, and I'll do goal one. And we'll get back together in maybe three minutes, maybe four minutes, when we all have a draft.
All right, just want to check in with you. How are you all doing? If we can maybe take another 30 seconds and then revisit the descriptions together. Because yes. we only have five minutes left. All right, pens down, <laughs> if you were in school taking a test, that is. Um, so for goal one, I had that one, so I'll talk you through it real quick. Retaining and attracting contributors. OSS event organizers create events in service of an OSS project or ecosystem community. Events bring together the community members, offer a space to collaborate more directly, create stronger ties by knowing each other and provide an inroad for new contributors to get started with the project. The first goal therefore is to retain existing contributors of the project and to attract new contributors to the project. Yeah. It's good to me. Oh, I feel a bit shy about what I have done. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very shy. <laughs> That's okay. We work on this together. So uh -huh. this is my proposal where I, I said, okay, why are events organized? What do they provide? And then why is this a goal? That's what I was going through my head. Okay, then let's move on to goal two. I think, Perry, this was yours. Yeah, so I um, was thinking about the best way to put what I had in my head down. But what I have here is event engagements are a crucial part of hosting gatherings. The extent to which the audience are engaged determines the degree of success of that event. Hence, a set of metrics have been put together in this section to measure engagement success. I like it. Slightly different approach to do, writing a description. But I really like how you're highlighting it's this possible we have four different approaches i guess <laughs> because it's not like we aligned in the beginning but yeah <laughs> i was thinking if we should define what we mean as engagement maybe we or is it clear like is it self-evident to people yeah okay We'll, we'll leave that in here as a action item because I want to move on to the next one. Unless there was any other feedback on goal two. All right, goal three. Uh, companies are often involved in OSS events in many ways, such as financial sponsorship, sponsoring employees to help organize, or simply sending employees to the event. Understanding these contributions can help you retain corporate interest without alienating community involvement. I reused words and I wasn't happy with it. And I'm not sure I like my language around alienating at some point, but it's Okay, 
let's uh, highlight highlight this part. Maybe think of a different word for alienating. I like the approach though of saying this is what company engagement is, and here's why we need to understand it. Okay. I think it's a good first draft. We can refine it next time. Neo. Yeah, so this is what I have done. Um, I was trying to explain it to myself so I could also understand it. So feel free to suggest optimizations. So what I have is look at the various activities through the lens of diversity and understand how each of them contributes to increasing inclusion at an event. At the same time, learning more about participants and their skill set could help us better present them in the event and match their needs, while also enabling the spread um, uh, of awareness. I think I'm missing something here, maybe, on the needs of the project itself and the skills available in its community. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> It makes sense. It's worded. I, I think <clears throat> the sentences are very long. If we can break out the sentence into sm smaller sense, I think it would benefit here. Yeah, the second one could you could benefit from that definitely. Maybe also add what we have um, for the others. Why this is important? Why DNI is important too? Good idea. Okay. We are at the end of time. Of course, if you want to continue working on this for a little bit longer, that's fine. But I'm going to officially close the meeting here after we all had a chance of saying anything else that's on our minds. Is there anything else you want to add before we officially close the meeting? And I'm going to stop the recording. Well, thank you, everyone.